So, no, Michael is not going to be a DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online. I know. It sucks, man. He trolled us all. He played us. He literally responded to fans on Twitter, basically telling us all, You suck my And, uh, yeah. It's just, uh, <laughs> man... It sucks, man. We all wanted a Michael DLC, and we're not getting one. We're getting Yusuf instead, and now... He ain't right under range! That's how we're all feeling, right? <laughs> I think I speak for everybody when I say we're all feeling a little deranged over the fact that Michael is not DLC. It is, of course, going to be something else, which we're going to get into a little bit later. But before we get into today's video, man, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It takes one second of your time, and I really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. So first up for the DLC in December, we did get new screenshots of the new vehicle. It looks really nice. It looks similar to the Grotty Furia that's already in game but a little bit better, a little bit more modern. I like it. I think it's going to be really dope. But anyway, here's what they posted. Rockstar Games announced the next GTA Online update, including screenshots of the DLC. It says they want to end GTA Online on a high note for 2023, and the update is expected to release on December 12th, the day before my birthday. So that's pretty dope. Anyway... There is a new business coming to GTA Online, and of course, the GTA 4 character is coming back. As I mentioned earlier, it is gonna be Yusef. Right here on screen, I have a screenshot of Yusef. He's pretty much like a really rich billionaire dude who likes a lot of expensive cars. And for those of you who don't know, the business is going to be a salvage yard where we pretty much, it's like a chop shop where we're gonna get him high end vehicles. That is gonna be on a screenshot right here. Amir's cousin Jamal will be helping you out to plan and take on car robberies for Red's Auto Parts. This front be a business you can buy you can salvage parts for your own cars or sell them back to you so that's pretty interesting salvage parts for your own cars does that mean we could steal things and apply them to our own personal vehicles or do we just sell them either you know in through our shop or do we sell them to use it for more money through a little bit of a harder challenge who knows the details have not been fully leaked yet um, but it's going to be cool, man. We're going to get to use a tow truck like we can here. I'm assuming there's going to be a mission. Every business has like a $50,000 mission every 48 minutes. Uh, this one might be, you know, go tow a car and repo it, bring it back to the yard for $50,000 every 48 minutes. And occasionally it might go double money or triple money and you can make like 150k every 48 minutes. That's just my assumption. Obviously, no details have been fully leaked. Another small detail about the new DLC in December is drift races. A new type of race is coming to GTA Online, drift races. A new modification for certain cars will be required to enter the drift races and you can put them on at the LS car meet. So it might be tires or, you know, they got low grip tires already, but it's going to be something else that's going to help you, uh, you know, get around those corners better and drift. It's going to, you know, be really dope for the car community. I personally don't do too many races, um, but it's going to be dope, man. Anyway, new features and improvements. Rockstar has revealed new features and changes to GTA Online. However, some will be exclusive to PS5 and Xbox. Sorry, last-gen users. You will not get the wildlife that's finally coming to free mode. We are going to have animals roaming across the map in South Andreas and also in Blaine County. And also a 100-vehicle garage that is coming to PlayStation Plus members, which I don't own. And if you own it, you know uh, you know what you can do, man. You, can, <laughs> you know, F you, man. Screw you. But anyway, um, the interaction menu will also gain a feature where you can move cars in your garage around easier, where you will not have to actually go to the garages to move cars. We're going to be able to actually move them through the interaction menu, which is awesome if you're a car collector. That's pretty much what I am and what any other logical player in GTA Online is. We just want all the cars and fill up all our garages. So now we have a way to actually move the cars around without having to go to the garages. We could just do it through it. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. We could just do it through the interaction menu, which is absolutely awesome, man. I've been wanting this feature for a very long time and Rockstar decided you know what last year of the game last 12 months before gta 6 which by the way we are going to cover the trailer next week but you know last 12 months before gta 6 let's just put animals and you know a feature to move cars around easier great job rockstar anyway um here's a list of more features that are coming a newly streamlined interaction menu for easier navigation increased ls carmy reputation for competing completing races a small birthday gift on your character's birthday it's probably just going to be snacks and armor console voice chat now defaults to off so when you join lobbies hopefully you won't hear a bunch of little kids that just got this game screaming to the top of their lungs because they're weird um custom description tags for each floor of your eclipse boulevard garage so the 50 car garage you can put custom names for each floor and a new specification service at ls car meet allowing drivers to purchase copies of players vehicles for playstation 4 and xbox so there you go npc so there you go last gen you get something out of this update finally uh they're looking out for you guys you know you're getting something 
And it's pretty exciting. You know, um, you get to buy cars now. I wonder if you could buy HSW cars off people. Probably not. But who knows? Maybe HSW for last gen is what's coming next. Luckily, I'm on PS5, so I don't have to deal with the problems of peasants like everyone else. Anyway, let's move on to the next detail. New vehicles are coming. The Gradi Turismo uh, Amagio is the one that we saw in the beginning, the screenshot that I showed that looks like the Gradi Furia. Um, it's really, it's really nice, man. I really can't wait for the car. And then there's also more, you know, it says things like festive surprises. That's probably just the snow, which I'm really excited for. A lot of people don't know this, but I've only been playing GTA Online for like three, four months now. And I've actually never experienced the snow um, on the map. So I'm actually really excited for the first time being able to drive around in the snow and just have my car slip around all over the place and just crash a million times. Very, very exciting times. I am obviously, like I said earlier, my birthday is December 13th. I'm a Christmas baby. I love Christmas. But anyway, another little detail I wanted to get into. They did leave us the um livery that everybody unlocked for the zentorno through the community challenge this is the livery here um it looks pretty dope but there's something else that i wanted to get into and it has me very excited because the zentorno is one of my favorite cars in the game if you look at the spoiler that is forged carbon we all know what that means right you do know what that means right hs freaking w for the zentorno only hsw cars get forged carbon so that means in the next update, it is like a 99% chance that the Zentorno is getting an HSW upgrade. I also heard rumors of the Garati Turismo R, but that's not confirmed. The Zentorno pretty much is. I can't wait, man. But anyway, I just wanted to give some final thoughts on the DLC. I think it's going to be really dope. You can see the animals here in the back. That's pretty much what it's going to look like. This is the new business. I can't wait to use the tow truck and maybe repo some cars and do some, you know, tow truck work, some side work. Um, but my final thoughts on the business, man, I think it's going to be dope. Although I'm a little worried it's going to be very similar to the vehicle cargo warehouse the import export business um i am curious to see how it's going to correlate to that and you know how similar it's going to be it makes sense now why the import export business didn't receive many quality of life updates after release because obviously now they have a business that's very similar and hopefully performs a little bit better um you know if we could make anything like five to 750k every half hour or something that's what i'm assuming um how long it would take to maybe rob a car and then sell it to Yusef. or i'm really interested to see what what it means when they said keep parts for your own personal cars that i'm really curious what that means if we could steal like hsw parts and then put them on cars that are hsw compatible i have no idea but anyway man leave a like leave a subscribe like i said it takes one second of your time it really helps with the youtube algorithm comment down below what you think about the dlc if you're excited for it and also what you think about that hsw's internal that might be coming to the game and that's pretty much it boys i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you're excited like i said gta 6 trailer breakdown coming on tuesday and until then peace out boys